From FX Empire, this is Chris taking a look at the NASDAQ 100. And as you can see, the NASDAQ 100 has been pretty noisy over the last couple of days as we continue to see uh, plenty of volatility. With that being the case, I think you have to look at this through the prism of the 20-day EMA offering a bit of support. The 17,500 level, of course, offering support. And then I think there's massive support down at the 16,950 level where we also have the 50-day EMA. All things being equal, this is a buy on the dips type of situation and you have to be very cautious with um, any type of jumping into the market right away with big positions as we are overextended and that could cause quite a bit of volatility and choppiness. That being said, it does look like we will eventually try to go looking toward the 18,000 level again and beyond. As long as people believe that central banks around the world will be cutting in 2024, it's very likely that the Magnificent Seven, you know, the usual seven stocks that drive the NASDAQ 100, will continue to propel it higher. I have no interest in shorting the NASDAQ 100, it's far too strong, but I do recognize that we desperately need some type of significant pullback. It doesn't look like we're going to get it in the short term, and it's worth noting that even after the hot CPI print during the session on Tuesday, we have recovered almost everything that we lost after that initial sell-off. That shows me that the market is still very strong indeed.